Hello viewers, you're welcome to today's lecture. Today's lecture is on the amphibians, but basically we'll look at the distinctions between frogs and toads. We'll look at the various characteristics that distinguish frogs from the toads. Now here we have two sets of organisms. These are the toads, while well, this is a frog, a tree frog. We'll use this, this to illustrate the distinctions between the two amphibians. The frogs and toads are both amphibians. They belong to the class Amphibia in the phylum Chordata. They are chordates. They belong to the subphylum Vertebrata. Okay, they are amphibians, but most people do not know the distinction between these two kinds of amphibians, these two types of amphibians. It is true that they, all, they are all anurans, that's uh, amphibians that do not have tails, but there are marked distinctions between these two. Now, these toads are different from the frogs by one the fact that they have warty skins their skins are very rough they are very warty while the skins of the amphibians the, the frogs are, are smooth and always moist but that of the toads is relatively dry or can be dry completely the toads are able to survive in dry environment for a longer period of time than the frogs the frogs would have to stay close to water at all times and in water most of the times. The toads move mainly by walking while the frogs hop. While the frogs mainly hop. Okay, the frogs mainly hop. The frogs have longer hind limbs than the toads. Their hind limbs are usually longer than that of the toads okay this one is a tree frog and even in this one it's clearly seen the hind limbs are longer than that of the toads the toads have shorter hind limbs the hind limbs are shorter and their body is usually uh, shorter than that of the frogs that's when you compare to uh, the toad and the frog of the same size when you compare you notice that their bodies are usually shorter and the the toads the toads have a blunter face their face is blunt while the frogs tend to have sharper tips the tip of their mouth is usually sharper okay more tapered than that of the toads more tapered than that of the toads okay and the uh, the toads basically are known to lay eggs that are in straight line why the, why the frogs lay eggs that are clustered together so these are a few distinctions between the two I believe you have learned something from this lecture please continue to watch more of my videos from my youtube channel and you'll be educated more on various subjects in biology thanks for watching thanks for watching